Hey guys, do you want to learn how to make coloring pages that you can sell online? Well, today I'm going to be walking you through the steps to creating your own coloring pages using Canva. Now you can upload these coloring pages to sites like Etsy to sell or even to sites like Creative Fabrica or your own website. So this is a great way to earn additional income and it's fast and easy and a great way to be creative. And if you're really savvy, you'll be able to take this technique that I'm going to show you and create your own coloring pages to upload to Amazon KDP's platform. I'm Latoya Nicole and I've sold 50,000 books through my company, Entrepreneur's Color 2. So if you're interested in learning more about my coloring books, then make sure you go visit entrepreneurscolor2.com. Now go ahead and click the like button and share this video so I can also help others create coloring pages to earn extra income as well. Now let's head over to Canva and get started. Okay, so now that we're in Canva, we're going to go ahead and create a design. We're going to use our custom dimensions of eight and a half by 11, just because that's the standard size for coloring books and coloring pages. So eight and a half by 11 inches. And then of course, that'll bring us to our blank canvas. On the left side, I'm just gonna click on elements and I'm gonna start searching for coloring page designs. So I'm gonna be using this as just a background image for the coloring page or for the layout of the page. So let's see which one. Um, as you can see, they have all different kinds of um, designs. You do want to make sure you're getting one that says free, especially if you haven't paid for the pro account. So just keep that in mind when you're searching for your backgrounds or your patterns or any of the elements that you're using in Canva, okay? So I'm just gonna go with this one. It looks pretty decent for what I'm trying to do. I'm just gonna be creating a text um, or inspirational saying for the first page. And it's just gonna say, uh, let's say you, you got this. Yeah, girl, you got this, sis, you got this. Creating coloring pages isn't isn't hard at all, especially when you're doing them like this. And like I said, you can sell them on your own website or on Gumroad. And you can even use these as freebies. So if you have an email newsletter and you want to send freebies out for, you know, an exchange for their email address, you can use this for that. Or if you simply need something creative for the kids to do around the house, you can make this and just print it out on your own paper and then go from there. So now, as you see, I clicked on effects because I wanna make the letters colorable. So once I clicked on effects, I clicked on splice so that that can kind of white it out. And then I changed the background color to white. And I'm just going to change the font just to make it a little bit thicker, you know, just so you can see it really good once you um, get ready to color it. All right, so now let's do another coloring page just so you can see another example. And we're gonna go back to our elements tab. And this time I'm going to start off by making a border around the coloring sheet because some people like borders around there. So I'm just going to choose the element. Um, I'm gonna search for square in the element tab. And then I'm just going to Bring that to the top and bring it down to the full page of how I want it. And then I am going to go to the color where you see the yellow and I'm going to make the outline. And then I'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker. And now I'm going to go to the color yellow and I am going to make that transparent and that gives you your border. So now I'm gonna go back and search for coloring pages under our elements tab again to find another creative or nice looking background. And let's see what I wanna choose. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh, I think, yeah, that one is okay for this. Now I can tell that it's actually not gonna fit in my, within my borders uh correctly so i'm just gonna adjust my border size just a little bit and bring that up so that it can fit and then of course bring it to the middle of the page canva makes lines so that you'll know you're in the center and then i'm going to go to text and i'm going to choose add a heading for the text and then i'm just going to change those words to anyone can do this because it's just that easy to do I'm gonna make that a little bigger so that we can see it. And then I am going to go back to the effects tab. I'm gonna click on splice, change the color to white. 
and then I am going to increase the thickness and then I think I like it uh, like that I'll play with some of it because sometimes you have to play with the offset and the direction a little bit you can just you know do it until you get it how you want your design to look now let's make one for kids so let's search for a penguin and see if we can create it all right so getting my penguin and you see he's a coloring page i just looked on the coloring pages and picked out a penguin that i saw and then i think i'm going to just add maybe like a sun above his head just to show you again how simple this can be and i also said in my intro that if you're really savvy, you can even take these sheets and create you a coloring book and upload it to Amazon KDP's platform. So this is how you would actually do that. You would just continue to make coloring pages depending on what type of theme you want. And then um, you would have your book prepared. Okay, let's make one last page just so you can see. Um, let's use, let's search black woman and see if we can find a coloring page that we can use. And let's see, let's see. Okay, let's use her for example. All right, and of course you see she already has the black and white outline. So this is perfect to just color and have a little uh, coffee and chill time at home or anything, just relax. And then we're gonna also just add a heading to put some words maybe at the top of her head or somehow find a way to be creative to add something. Let's see. We can use self-care is not selfish. And then let's go to effects and do what we've been doing, which is splice, change the color to white. And, hmm. All right, so let's try curve and let's put it above her head and try to make it like a little halo or something. I think that'll be cute. But just be as creative as you want to and then save it as a PDF file when you're done. Now again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Now, if you do decide you wanna make a full coloring book and upload it to Amazon KDP, watch my next video for a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to upload it. All right, until next time, guys, bye-bye.